In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what are antibodies? Antibodies are integral to the adaptive immune system, and they're produced by B cells. So here's our first B cell here. And the antibody is a Y-shaped molecule, or protein, which sits on the surface of the B cell. They're also known as immunoglobulins. or Ig for short. This antibody is a surface immunoglobulin because it sits on the surface of the B cell. And this is all happening in bone marrow. That's why it's a B cell because it's produced in bone marrow. Now the antibody can be released which makes it a secreted immunoglobulin. And this can travel through the blood to its target tissues. These can be right throughout the body. A B cell produces about 10 to the 5 antibodies per B cell, which is a huge number of immunoglobulin molecules. But one B cell will produce all the same type of antibody. These will be almost identical. Now if we have a second B cell, here's B cell number 2, it will also produce antibodies. And these are all of the same type as well. But they're different from those of the other B cell. Now this is important because you need antibodies that are specific for different pathogens. So for example, here's pathogen number one. The antibodies of B cell number one stick onto the surface of this pathogen. However, those of B cell number 2 do not. So these stick and these don't stick. Now if we take a second pathogen, The antibodies of B cell number 2 might stick to this pathogen, while those of B cell number 1 don't stick. So you need different B cells for different pathogens. Now when I say they stick, they bind onto molecules on the surface of the pathogen. These can be all sorts of molecules. Polysaccharides, polypeptides, etc. Now these are called epitopes. These are the places where immunoglobulins stick. So there's my antibody there, and it's sticking onto an epitope on the pathogen surface. Once an antibody is stuck, it can activate a whole series of events known as complement, or have other effects. Have a look at the videos on complement at handwrittentutorials.com for more information on how this happens. And that's what antibodies are. We'll look at how antibodies differ from one another in the next video.